evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Word Stadium here in beautiful Piqua, Ohio. We are on the Indian Nation station, Piqua Channel 5, bringing you high school soccer action. I'm AJ Ganger. With me tonight, Jonathan Schofstoff. And John, tell everybody a little bit about yourself here being on the Indian Nation station for the very first time. Yeah, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Uh, I'm currently uh, one of the assistant principals at Piqua High School. Uh, prior to transitioning to school administration, uh, I was a middle school phys ed teacher, and uh, I c coached Indian Lake boys soccer head coach for seven years. So uh, definitely have a background with soccer. We got about two minutes here before we get everything started. Tell everybody a little bit about soccer. You know, you said you were a, a soccer coach at one point in your career. Uh, tell the, the viewers here who may not know a little bit about soccer, because this is our first soccer broadcast on the Indian Nation Station. Yeah, well, what you'll see tonight is uh, I imagine that you'll see teams try and possess the ball. Uh, maybe a little different than in, in basketball and whatnot, where uh, teams will try to keep possession. They won't always try to uh, push down the field uh, in order to uh, keep that possession and, and wear the other team out, and hopefully that'll uh, turn into goals late in the game when the, when the team is tired. And tonight, the Piqua Indians take on their dreaded rivals, the Sydney Yellow Jackets. You know, the series right now is Sydney 3, Piqua 2. Tonight could go a long way in tying this series up. Absolutely. When you're talking about the all sports uh, against Sydney, this is a big game, uh, you know, for the Piqua Indians. And uh, we're excited for the challenge. I'm, uh, I'm sure of that, talking to the players today at school. And Piqua's coming in with a 5-3-1 and one record overall. They're 4-2 and two in the G-Walk, so they're still in the hunt for the G-Walk crown. Sydney is 6-5, six, or 6-5 six overall, and 5-2 and two in the G-Walk. So both teams neck and neck. Obviously, Tip City leads the way in the G-Walk North right now with a 7-0 and conference record, 10-1-1 one and one overall record. So, you know, Tip City, they're playing some good soccer right now. Right up there with them is obviously Butler and Troy, who are both 6-0 and in the conference. Butler's got two ties, one loss and eight wins. Troy's 8-2 and two overall. So, you know, you look at the G-Walk North standings, Piqua and Sydney are right on the cusp of, it seems like, breaking out. Absolutely. I, you know, this is a, a big game between uh, what I would consider uh, uh, almost equal opponents. Hopefully we're a little bit better tonight. Uh, we can uh, jump them there in the, the G-Walk North standings and uh, you know, I, I think this is obviously a rivalry game, yeah. uh, and there's some other things right in here as we can jump them in the standings. So, again, a really uh, exciting night here to, for uh, soccer and the Pickle Indians. Earlier tonight, the junior varsity game just finished up a few moments ago before we got on the air. Uh, Sydney did beat Piqua in the junior varsity game by the score of 2-1. to one. So, you know, you know, it was a very close game. Sydney scored a goal there towards the end. Uh, John, what did you think of that, JV? Yeah, really exciting all the way to the end. Uh, we had some chances there late that we just didn't quite put away. Uh, but it was great to see us creating those chances. Uh, the, the fans were on the edge of their seat uh, all the way to the end. And uh, like I said, the, those kids are, are progressing and, and trying to make their way to the varsity. And uh, they're playing hard all the way to the end. So really excited to watch that even. So. We got some remaining broadcasts coming up on the Indian Nation Station. Don't forget Friday night, homecoming. It's going to be rocking at Alexander Stadium. As the Indians take on Sydney. Sydney obviously coming in 5 0, pick with 3 2. Going to be a great matchup there. We have a Thursday night matchup after that between the Vandalia Butler Aviators on October the 12th, and possibly we'll get out to Troy to do Pickwell versus Troy in the 133rd meeting of that rivalry game. The next boys soccer match comes your way October the 10th as they take on Troy. Girls soccer starts October the 4th against Greenville and October the 14th against Miami East. We've got three more volleyball games to cover October 2nd against Northmont, October 3rd against Tip City, and October the 11th against Troy. So we've got a big schedule coming up, obviously not only for football, but you know, you got volleyball who just went into five sets a few nights ago too, and obviously the boys and girls soccer team. Heartbreaker the other night for the volleyball team. Uh, they, they played well. We had some great energy there. Uh, you know, we we were recognizing the Garber family and uh, just a great evening. Uh, the girls played hard. Uh, just uh, we're on the wrong end at the end of the night. And a reminder, that game is now available on the Indian Nation Station's YouTube page. Go on there, check it out, along with the Pick with Xenia game, the pregame show, the coaches show, and the coaches show that we filmed last night is also available on the YouTube page. So we're pushing out tons and tons of content to everybody right now on the Indian Nation Station. Hopefully everyone's liking what we're doing. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow or subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, that's really exciting for our, our student athletes to, to be out on, on TV and, and to be on YouTube. 
game and uh, to, everybody likes to see themselves play. And uh, you know, when I was in high school, we didn't have that, unfortunately. But that, that's pretty cool for for the kids now. So really neat uh, that we have that going on at, at Pickwell High School, and uh, that's that program is only going, going to grow. Yeah, you know, the big help from the students. We got Morgan Ford again on camera tonight. She helped us out during the football game. We obviously got you up here doing some color commentary. I've been running around like crazy doing everything, and also you know just a huge thanks to the media teacher out there at uh, Pickwell High School, Damian Skeens, for allowing us to use students to help film and um, participate in these broadcasts. Yeah, there's not too many nights you guys are filming we don't see uh, uh, Morgan Ford running the camera or doing something. So, like Sherbert, too. Yeah, Sherbert too. Yeah, so, I mean, kids are busy, and uh, it's just uh, real-life learning right there, so nothing gets better than that. Uh, so thanks to our sponsors. we got a lot of sponsors. We'll try to go through all of them as the night progresses. Uh, right now, I'm just going to list our sponsors as we're getting ready for the... Uh, Pick with starting lineups now on the field. Gonzo Radio, America's best choice windows and more. Miami Valley Steel, East of Chicago Pizza, Morris Heating and Cooling Comfort Systems, Mulligan's Pub, Dick Lumpkin's Body Shop, Pickwell Harley Davidson, Unity National Bank, the Miami Valley Center Mall, Doe and Postal, SC Collectibles in the Miami Valley Center Mall, Beppo Uno, and Brownlee Way Realty. Those are our sponsors for the Indian Nation Station during this fall sports season. John, we're getting a lot of sponsors out there. Yeah, that's, that's really neat to see the uh, community rallying behind, uh, you know, the Indian Nation Station. And, uh, you know, that's uh, a school initiative uh, housed there in the high school and, uh, you know, manned by a lot of students. So uh, they're, they're supporting a, a very good cause. As Like I said earlier, uh, that's some real-life learning for our kids. Yeah, it really, really is. And also, we want to remind everybody this will hopefully be out in time. Uh, we made a video today. We put it on Facebook. We put it on YouTube. To just a reminder, the station will be going down tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. as we move our equipment from Edison Community College over to Pickwell High School, taking that next step. Um, I've been told it could take an hour, um, but if something else goes wrong, we might have to stop, move everything back over to Edison. So we will keep everybody updated through Facebook and all of our social media platforms as well. Um, I, will, I know you run the Twitter at, at Pickwell High School, so maybe I'll get, get you involved and let you know that you can tweet something out and make sure everyone... Uh, is aware. We're still working on getting the Twitter situation taken care of here at the Indian Nation Station. Yeah, that's exciting. We're making that move, and uh, you know we're gonna house uh, all, all the equipment, and uh, you know it's gonna be a lot easier. You know, right now we're running off a remote straight to Edison. Now we'll be able to just run off our own remote and you know be able to monitor everything all at once. I'm trying to talk them into putting a TV in my office so we can monitor the Indian Nation Station at, at all times, which would be really cool to be able to to show the kids, hey, this is your work, and it's going out actually on the station as well, and you know. The media class is, is, is something that's really cool because in high school I didn't have like this opportunity to be able to do it. I had to do everything in college and to be able to um, pursue my career in, in, from college to now and seeing these kids that are taking really what is a college level course and Damian Ski is doing a good job with his kids there, you know, making sure they know the, the essentials of of, you know, Final Cup Pro and things. Country. We're going to pause right now as we stand for you the playing of the national anthem. For the playing of our national anthem.
for some soccer here tonight at Wirtz Stadium in Piqua, Ohio. The Piqua Indians taking on the Sydney Yellow Jackets live here on the Indian Nation station. Piqua Channel 5. I always say live when it's not live because I'm used to doing that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, you know, it's, it's cool to say. Someday, someday. I, I, you know, we're working towards that, I'm sure. Someday so. we'll have a van that houses all of our equipment. We'll be able to edit everything, hopefully, in time. And... Um, do everything else. We got starters coming up here. Uh, do you want to go go through those, AJ? Yeah, I'll definitely go through them right here. Uh, the starters for Piqua is zero, number zero, Wesley Ford. Number 11, Robbie Comstock. Number 10, Caden Jones. Number 17, Cade Lyman. Number 14, Brandon Grisham. Number 33, Ethan Heidenreich. Number four, Jared Powers. Number eight, Quinn Evans. Number 34, Colton Bly, number 23, Spencer Levy, and number 12, Jared Goulet, your starters for the Piqua Indians. Um, over here on Sydney, we've got the starters, number one, Noah Hounce, number two, Trey Wernz, number 22, Gavin Miller, number 21, Evan Burden, number 10, Damian Jones, number 13, Jalen Huggins, number four, Christian Walker, number 29, Thomas Atwood, number three, Nathan Mew, number 27, Mason Page, and number 28, Gage Friendly. Yeah, you know, as you go through those lineups, uh, I think Jalen Hudgens is uh, leading the GWAC North right now in, in goals and, and overall points. So uh, he'll be playing on the wing, it looks like, right now. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on him uh, as he's going up and down that sideline tonight. Well, we got the 40 minutes on the clock. They don't play 90 minutes in high school, is that correct? That's correct. So we'll be playing two 40-minute uh, halves with a 10-minute halftime. Uh, as, as we look at this, uh, it looks, looks like uh, Sydney's going to come out in a 4-3-3. That means they're playing with uh, four defenders in the back, uh, three midfielders, and uh, three forwards. Uh, it, we'll have to see what uh, Pickle comes into here uh, tonight. Looks like we're also playing with uh, four backs, and uh, we'll see if we go into a 4-3-3 or uh, maybe like a 4-4-2, which means we have four backs. Uh, four mids and, and two fours. So we'll see how uh, uh, we match up here uh, with a little uh, tactical here. And again, I don't know a whole lot about soccer, but I'm going to try to do my best. I know what a goal is and a corner kick and all that. So I'm going to rely a little bit on you here tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We have a huge student section tonight. Looks like we have uh, uh, quite a bit of neon going on down there. Uh, I know the students were excited about this one. Oh, here we go. Uh, looked like they oh, it out. Well, good shot there. Caden Jones. Jones had a good shot there as we uh, worked through the middle. Uh, good, good possession and uh, some some okay. solid passing there. We've got a corner kick coming up. So as as we uh, run the corner kick, we're gonna try to get some uh, runners through here, uh, possibly even uh, rub some people uh, free. Uh, kind of like in basketball, like a pick, uh, just kind of get in the way uh, so we can get some free. Oh, had a shot, a little header there. That's a nice corner from Christian. Yeah, that's a great corner. Um, you know, we have some kids that are pretty good in the air. Uh, Jones and, and, and Comstock are pretty good in the air, so uh, we'll have to use that to our advantage tonight. As we uh, move up the sideline here. Stolen away by the Yellow Jackets there. Sydney's wearing their yellow top uniforms with black shorts and yellow socks. Piqua in all white here tonight with blue numbers. Yeah, which uh, I'm sure was a, a parent's nightmare uh, the other week when it was all wet and uh, uh, the jerseys turned from white to uh, uh, mud brown. So it looks like the parents did an excellent job uh, getting those clean. Uh, looks like we're uh, man marking uh, Hudgens here a little bit on the sideline. Uh, we're not going to we're not going to let him get free on us. Uh, it appears that's uh, that's kind of a strategy like in basketball, where if uh, the other team has a really good player, uh, you're going to man mark him. So uh, we'll have to be careful in a counter attack situation like right now, when we get possession away and uh, uh, they run at us without a uh, midfield getting in, in place. So that's what we call a counter attack uh, as they try to strike quickly uh, off a turnover from us. It's a good job by the Indians to get it back. They did. They, they uh, kind of got to the middle there and forced it out and got the turnover. So uh, here we go. Heidenreich trying to take him on one-on-one -on -one with the dribble. Nice pass. Oh, ball. good through ball. Ooh. Oh, that was a great through ball there. Uh, good good effort by Heidenreich. So uh, good, uh, good passing there, connecting with each other. 
Uh, you'll, you'll see a lot of what we call one-touch passing. Uh, that's like a kind of a give and go in basketball, if you will. Yeah. Uh, just to uh, get the defender standing as, as you run past them. Uh, so we'll see that. Uh, again, you see Sydney play out of the back. They're looking at uh, possessing out of the back. Uh, but we've uh, Lyman there uh, did a whole good ball. Uh, one timer. Yep. Shot by Caden Jones. That one just seems like it kind of went off the top of his foot on Caden Jones. Yeah, that, uh, that's what we call a one timer. So he, he didn't take a control touch. Uh, he t tried to strike it without doing that. Um, the advantage of that is the de defense can't close you down. Disadvantage is sometimes your shots go uh, uh, a little uh, errant. So, you know, it's, it's at least he got the shot off is, is what we would say there. A little pushing and shelling there. Comstock yeah. had to get right back up. The game, I think uh, people don't realize how physical the game can be. Um, and we'll see how the uh, officials call tonight with a rivalry game. Uh, we don't want it to get chippy. So uh, we want everybody to play hard and uh, just do the best they can. Hopefully uh, it'll stay clean tonight. That one looks like out of bounds. Uh, yep, out of bounds. Uh, Sydney had possession, went out of bounds. Has to go all the way across the line here in soccer. Right. So if the ball is on the line, that's still in. Uh, has to go all the way over it. Uh, so the uh, we're and you can touch it out of bounds too, as long as the ball is still in play. Correct. Yeah, yeah. You, you can, you can, you can be out of bounds yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think is what you're right. What yeah, you're saying. Exactly you can be like out that. of bounds. Oh, here, uh, here comes Hudgens. Not what we wanted. Oh, good save. Good. Wesley. Wesley Ford. Yeah. He's coming off an in, he's coming off an injury tonight, uh, and, and so he, he's that, that was good to get him into the play and uh, get him some confidence, uh, you know, with that injury and that he, he he's good to go tonight. So uh, good good to see that. He, he got a nice little save there. Yeah, right I gotta tell you, right right right. yeah, I mean, and that's what we have to be careful. I mean, he he's a strong kid. He's fast, so we have to, you know, we're, we're tracking back right now, knowing where he's at at all times. A lot of back and forth, it seems like. You know, early, the first couple minutes, it seemed like Pickle was on there on Sydney's side of the field a lot. Now it seems like Sydney's starting to turn the tables a little bit. Yeah, we, you know, the, the possession is really done with the midfield, so we'll have to watch that tonight and see how we're possessing and uh, keeping that. You, can, you kind of see Hedgens, uh, they have him out on the wing, and they, they do that on purpose to try to get him space, and uh, he'll get isolated one on one out there. If he's playing like a, a central forward, which is in the middle uh, uh, or uh, in the middle of the field, mm -hmm. he'd be uh, surrounded by uh, two defenders. So uh, they purposely have him out there on the edge. Uh, some co coaches will do that, uh, put their best attacking player out there, so they have those one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Sydney's trying to go yeah. And stop. Yeah, uh, we uh, got a little reset there. We kicked the ball out of bounds so we can get uh, kind of get back in position, get marked up here, marked up. You know, just kind of know where, where Sydney's at, right. uh, so they're not running free uh, here in the offensive third, um, and so uh, the throw-ins can be dangerous, but, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in high school, uh, the field's maybe not quite as wide, uh, and sometimes, you know, kids can throw it all the way into uh, the middle of the field, so that's just as good as a corner uh, for some teams. Looks like they took the short corner that time. Oh. All right. There we go. The key there, uh, when you have, uh, you know, uh, the offensive player with his back to you, is not to let him turn. Right. Um, you know, if he has his back to you with the ball, we'll, we'll take that and force him backwards. Uh, but we don't want him to turn there, and so we, we try to keep pressure um, right there on his back so he doesn't turn and, and force that ball backwards so we can, you know, continue to to keep him, you know, in front of us. We don't want him to get loose uh, behind us. That'll get us uh, in trouble. And uh, what we said is it's never great when center backs are – Running towards a goal, right. uh, having to defend it. You know, it's, we always want to be go kind of going uh, towards our, our goal, if you will. We got a goal kick here. In for Sydney, number seven. We tried a long Denver. kick. Good touch by the, the Sydney. Oh, we got bumped off the ball. Is that Huggins? Uh, Huggins. Huggins. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he, he shoulder to shoulder there, which is a, a fair play, and uh, got possession there. Very similar to maybe what a box that would be in, in, in basketball. Right. Uh, trying to get position there. So um, he didn't have a very good angle to shoot, and uh, that was that was good for us. We take a long uh, goal kick. 
Uh, hopefully we can push up here and get out of our, uh, our half and get the pressure on them. Well, that's a tough ball. I said he kicked that one back to their own yeah, goalie. Yeah, and you can do that. He just can't pick it up right now. So you see that he he uh, used everything but his hands, so his chest and whatnot. So uh, when you play back to the goalie uh, in a pass, you can do that. Um, and that, that can help you keep possession, as you notice. Um, he had time, and uh, they played it down. But here we are coming back, attacking him. So if the, the ball is played back to the, the goalie, the goalie is not allowed to use his hands, but if it's a shot, the goalie can. Correct. Right. Okay. So if your own if your own player passes it back to you, you can't use your hands. Okay. Uh, if obviously if it's a shot or the other team plays it, then you absolutely can use your hands. So uh, they changed that rule. Uh, it's probably been 20 years ago. It used to be that you could just pick that up. Right. Um, but at the professional level, they were just using that so much. So. So he's got yeah. it down the yeah. corner. Okay. All right, we got a throw in for us. Good. And you'll so see the field judge. Uh, there's two referees on each side. They both have flags. They point at which way the possession error is. You have the main referee and the green yeah. in the middle of the field as well. Yeah, and and uh, typically, typically, uh, you know, the sideline runners, if you will, they'll, they're calling a lot of the offsides, and uh, we can kind of get in that uh, a little bit later. That's one of their main responsibilities, along with. Uh, throw-ins and, and the possession for, uh, you know, out-of-bounds plays. So uh, if they see a foul, they can call that. They don't do that a whole lot um, at any level, to be honest with you, unless it's uh, uh, pretty pretty egregious. But we just got a foul there on Sydney as we were uh, countering, and, and so we'll, we'll keep possession here and see what we can do with that. So there's the player who gets fouled and kicks it away, correct? Oh, uh, no, anybody, anybody, we, anybody, yep. So even uh, Wesley Ford could come up as a goalie and take this kick at this point. Um, so that's uh, the nice thing about soccer. It's not like uh, basketball where if I shoot and get fouled, I have to take the foul shots. Right. Same thing with a, uh, a, a penalty kick. So um, if somebody gets fouled and we want somebody else to take the penalty kick, we can do that. Of course, of course, a penalty kick would be a, a foul in the box, and the the big what we call the 18, right. which is which is the big box, which is 18 yards from the uh, end line. And then you see the other box, and that's six yards from the end line. We call that the six. Uh, okay. So that's where we take our goal kicks from. And you know a lot more about soccer than I do, obviously. You're doing a good job with it, man. All right. You know I. Love this game. I, I was a goalie uh, oh, in my high school career, and you know, as a goalie, um, that the, you have you can read the game the entire time. So I think it gives you a better understanding of what's going on at all positions. And as a goalie, you're trying to anticipate uh, when they're going to make that break, so you can stop that. Uh, you know, it's different too. Um, that pick was soccer team. They they play away from the high school area. Yeah. You know, this word stadium used to be football. And, you know, it's real grass. It's, you know, old school. It's, you know, I remember watching football games from here when I was yeah. little, whether, when it was Troy and Piqua. Now, Piqua uh, Alexander Stadium houses Piqua football and track. What, what a great facility that we have here for soccer. Um, you know, it, it, not too many people still have, are having a soccer-only stadium, and especially one that's this nice. Just a few uh, years ago, uh, there was a... a English Premier League team that, that played a, a warm-up game here, right. uh, Wigan Athletic, and uh, they've been relegated since, uh, but that, that was quite a few years ago. But yeah, they played here. Um, I think they played the Dane Dutch Lions uh, here on this pitch. So uh, again, just a, a great surface, uh, and you know, to be soccer only, uh, they just do an outstanding job of keeping it so nice. So again, uh, the players here are, are fortunate, and. Uh, yeah, the, the community uh, can be proud of, of this uh, stadium. It's aged very well, I will say that. Yeah, it's it, aged. What, what, a, what a nice setting here in the neighborhood, and uh, yeah, the light's on, and yeah, just a great, great time here. And, you know, the one guy who really does a good job with the facility, facilities here for Pickwood City Schools, Randy Adams, does a very good job. He takes care of works, and he takes care of all the other facilities over there. Um, in Alexander Stadium and things like that. So he does a very good job. He, he runs around a lot. Yeah, a lot, a lot of running. Uh, you know, funny thing, uh, as we got a free kick here, hopefully uh, we're, we're manned up 
Uh, long ball in the box. Hopefully they were They got ahead to it, but Wesley uh, Ford gets. He he got the uh, the save there. That's his second save. Yeah, it? yeah. And here we are on a counter. Got a through ball. We'll see if Lyman can get to it. He's had a great season so far. Great hustle. Great hustle. See, all right, we keep possession here at Heidenreich. Okay. Gotta throw that. Here we go. We'll keep going on it. All right, here, Hudgens has the ball. Keep him on his. We gotta stay on his back. We don't want him. To, we don't want him to turn there. We gotta be um, putting quite a bit of pressure on there. You know, the the interesting thing is, is uh, my my career as a coach ended here at Word Stadium. Really? Yeah. Uh, my my last year of coaching, uh, we lost uh, in the sectional final, the tip here, and they played at a neutral site, uh, and so you know my my last game was here at the sectional final. So again. Uh, I can speak firsthand of what a nice uh, facility is and playing, and that, that was pretty big time. We, we were excited to come here and play that game. We played tip really well that, well that night, uh, just didn't have enough. But, you know, proud of the players that night when when uh, we, we did that, so. Heidenreich made a nice move there on he the did. other side. He did, he did. See if we can uh, keep it down here. There we go, keep possession here. We'll see, sometimes we'll play it back. Uh, we got Good ball there. You got a turn. Unlucky there. Unlucky touch. There we go. Good job, Robbie Comstock. There we go, Robbie Comstock. See if we can get some help here. Whew. Defender was uh, up to it that time. The defender seemed a little bigger than Robbie, too. Sure. Well, and you'll see that a lot. Defenders are, uh, you know, not always, but especially at the, you know, the professional league, they're, they're uh, typically bigger guys, especially because uh, of the uh, aerial attack. You know, teams will have, so you want taller, bigger guys down there to, to, to get up to those balls. About 25 and a half minutes remaining here in half number one. Still nil-nil on the scoreboard. Back and forth game tonight. Uh, uh, looks like two pretty evenly matched teams. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, just keep, you know, keep the pressure on and uh, continue to, to link some passes up, see if we can get down there. We've had some chances, uh, and, you know, and that's on soccer. It's... It's a game of chances, and uh, you just want to improve your chances as, as the game goes. Peglin now with possession here on the left side. Yeah. There we go. We, you can see we have our, our three mids right there. Uh, Comstock Jones, uh, we call that a nutmeg when you pass it through uh, the legs of somebody. Uh, so we just nutmeg that defender. And uh, But you can see we had our, our mids there. Uh, now they're tracking back. Grissom, as he tracks back here, is uh, what we call a holding center mid or a defensive center mid. His job is to uh, uh, distribute from there and, and try to break up the attack before it gets, uh, you know, back to our backs, uh, our defenders. So, uh, you know, he, he has to, he, his number one, you know, responsibility is distribute and break things up. So, so far he's doing a great job of that tonight. Uh, that's a position that has to, comes with a lot of energy, as they all do. This is not. This is young young man sport. As yeah. They call it. They call it a young man sport, and uh, with all the running, you, you can see why. Yeah, you know, it's crazy to have some of these MLS guys who have aged and are yeah, still out there. Still today. out there. You know, uh, you know, Columbus Crew Higuain. Uh, he he's getting pretty long in the tooth, as they would say, and uh, he he's still he's a great player. And you see that a lot in the MLS right now. Is that that? Uh, that's growing, but uh, you see some of the, the top-level players that will retire, per se, mm -hmm. uh, to the MLS. However, I, you know, I think it's good for the MLS as they, uh, that'll slowly, those players will get younger and younger, and that I think will help grow. As we get a sub here, uh, Heidenreich comes out. He put in a good, uh, you know, 17-minute shift there uh, up and down the sideline. That's a lot of running there as well on the outside. You're tracking box to box, as they say, from the 18 box to 18 box, just covering a lot of, a lot of territory. Uh, Looks like Gavin Straval came in, um, take his position. Here we go on a counterattack. Ooh, nice. Yeah, got to poke out, poke, force it to the outside, uh, and then we got to get marked up here. Got to get marked up. There he is. Hudgens here. He's pretty strong with the ball. You can see why he's leading the G walk uh, with the strength. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, to score it takes some skill, but. You know, it was really hard to get him off the ball there. Sydney going to have a throw in now. Throw in out of bounds here. Uh, we'll, we'll try to mark up with them so we know where they're at and hopefully pressure them. Uh, oh, it looks like they, they called a foul here. 
foul, so it is going to be a yeah, foul on the Indian. So hopefully we get marked up in the box. They're going to be what we call serving this into the box. They're going to play it in, and you know this this is kind of a, a special play, special teams, if you will. If you're talking about football, you know outside the run of play. Um, you know, some teams will, will uh, bunker back as then they won't even push forward a whole lot just to to live for these this type of chances to score and then they'll defend almost the whole game. Obviously, we're not seeing that tonight, but uh, these these can be tough uh, tough plays, especially you know, as it falls. We got to pressure that good. You know, pressure does a lot. You know, especially with uh, you know student athletes here. You know, pressure. Yeah, it makes it makes you think a little bit more, and yeah. uh, you know you you don't have time to, to set it up perfectly. So you know pressure is key, especially uh, you know when you're defending and you want to be around them, so they don't you know that that offensive player doesn't feel the comfort. And of course, uh, when we have the ball, we're trying to get a little more time so we, we can get it in the back of the, the net. So. All right. <coughs> Ooh, that could have been close yeah. to being a foul. Ooh. See that ball is not all the way over. Had the uh, the uh, line judge right there to, to look at that, um, and, and so like it, again, that's important. You know that that ball has to be all the way over. So same thing with the goal. You know in order for it to score score. So you know in football the ball only has to touch the line. Here uh, the ball has to be all the way over uh, the line to score. Well, the point of the ball has to be over the line in football. Sure. A little here, bit of it. Here it's though, be all the way ball has to be all the way through. Obviously, we're not running that into the net here. Right. Uh, we'd have other issues if we were doing that. So. <laughs> Indians have a quick play here. Be rugby. Yeah, there we go. I, I don't know a whole lot about that, except I don't think I could play that. That's that's a tough sport. There's a couple high schools around here that do some club teams. I went and watched one of my cousins actually play rugby, and man, those kids are tough. Yeah, no, no thanks. No yeah. thanks there. They call up a game because it got so rough. Oh, wow. Well, I, I think they could call it every, every game, I would imagine. Right. I would imagine. Yeah. Nice out. Yeah. So uh, throw in for the Yellow Jackets here. As we as we uh, approach the halfway point, again, just a back and forth game. Both teams of well, what I can call some half chances, uh, but um, yeah, nothing too great except for you know Wesley did make that great save as Hudgens was was running through earlier. Uh, you can see how they swung that all the way around the back. We call that, uh, you know, switching play, and they did so, uh, swinging it back uh, around their defense. Uh, definitely a tactic that, you know, you want to try to do, play it back, swing it, and go forward, and that makes the other team run more, and uh, that gives you a chance maybe to find some space on the backside is, uh, where you have the ball. Another foul here. Uh, as those they, kicks. What's that? Looks like they're going to have Yeah, another, another foul and kick. So, uh, nice thing is this looks like a little bit farther away. You don't really want to give those away close to uh, to our own box. However, you know, if they can play this into the box, they're all dangerous. We just got to make sure that we're marked and that we get up in the air to it before uh, they do. Okay. A header from the top of the box there is, uh, you know, it's very difficult to score on. Here we go. Uh, Number 17. 17, Lyman is, is taking one on one. You want to go out? Uh, here we go. We're trying to counter on him. There we go. Play out to space there. Ah. Oh, unfortunate. Let's see if we can push up, keep the ball down this half. Uh, good idea there. Uh, just uh, just a little bit long on the pass. So, But again, that's the idea. You, you saw he had four guys around in there. Yeah. So he played it out to space to Harrison. Uh, and, and so what, you know, ideally he would take it, get a touch, and maybe cross it back to, to Lyman there. Uh, but uh, just were unable to connect that. But great idea, good uh, soccer IQ, as, as I would call that. Knowing that you have four guys around you, not great uh, chance for you to, to get through all of them. But don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching high school soccer, boys soccer here on the Indian Nation Station. Piqua Channel 5, it's your home for Piqua Athletics. All right, looks like Cindy uh, threw the ball in and never came in, so uh, looks like it's our throw and down here. Uh, hopefully we can utilize that. You see right now we're playing with three backs. We pushed up one of our outside backs to try to hold some possession. Here we go. We got a shot. Oh, 
Soccer. You'll see that a lot in soccer where uh, they'll drop it back. So what happens is as you attack, the defense will drop. Mm -hmm. And then when you play a, a negative ball or you drop it, you know, the defense is already back, so you have a chance to, to get a good shot where uh, maybe you have a little bit more in time that we were talking about, maybe less pressure there. So, uh, again, great idea there. Uh, just uh, misconnected, but, you know, we can keep doing that. Uh, that that'll be in our favor as, as the night goes on. And Pickle's got three shots to just two for Sydney at this moment. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's thing is, it only takes one, so we got to make sure that we're, uh, you know, that we're, we keep uh, – Play with high, high energy, high pressure here, uh, marking them up, and, and knowing uh, you know where where everybody's at here in the defensive or defensive half, defensive third. You're hearing me talk about that a lot. The thirds. Yeah. Uh, you have a uh, offensive third. Uh, so we're talking about chopping the field up in threes. You have the middle third where a lot of the game is played, and then you have a defensive third where you just you know the other team is is approaching. So that's the offensive third versus your defensive third. So again, uh, a lot of the game play is played in the middle. Uh, but uh, you got to be uh, really mindful there in the offensive, defensive thirds that uh, you're communicating and, and uh, making sure you're marked up if we're, if we're defending. That makes a lot of sense. You know, you stay, you try to stay in your third of the field too. If you're playing yeah. in the middle, you want to stay in the middle. If you're on defense, you obviously want to stay closer to yeah. your goal. Well, the other thing too is I always tell our players that uh, bad things will happen if uh, the other team is playing in our defensive third, right, right. Uh, just good things aren't, aren't going to come from there. And, you know, the other thing is good things will happen to you if you can play in the uh, other team or play in your offensive third. Uh, you know, if a team makes a mistake, we're going to look pretty good. So we just have to, you know, try to try to push the field down uh, and get it down to our offensive third. Easier said than done. Like I said, most of the game will be played in the middle third, so the middle of the field, uh, and, and then... We'll see what we can create from there. And he is going to get a free kick down in their own third. There we go. Uh, big kick, unfortunately, uh, out of bounds. Uh, with that, looks like our uh, outside back uh, was unable to, to, to get up there. Almost, well, I would say out kick our coverage there a little yeah. bit. If you're going to use a fo football term. There we go. There we go. We're in the football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, football, right. <laughs> football. Comstock uh, shot sent that one yeah. the field. Thankfully, the defender put his head on it, so uh, Jones could get possession. We didn't have anybody up there, but uh, it worked out well for us. Now we're going to support play here at Grissom. We might get a touch shot. Okay, here we go. There it is. Good shot. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Got to follow those up. Cade, uh, Cade Lyman there was close, uh, but uh, great shot. You saw how that ball dipped it at the end. That's really hard for a goalie. I mean, just really hard uh, as that ball's, you know, dipping down, and yeah. uh, it's a tough save, and you know, the saves that are, are low and on the ground are the tough ones. The ones you make them look like all-stars if you keep it up here. I mean, yeah. uh, you keep it up by their hands, up by their chest. Uh, you can make a goalie really good. Uh, the tough, tough saves are, are down on the ground and uh, low and out. So that was a great attempt. Good work there uh, by our midfielders to, to create that. Uh, and Lyman there, uh, one of our forwards. Ah, Gavin just missed the miss down. Yeah, unlucky. You know, sometimes the ball takes a funny hop, or uh, you know, that ball is play or hop, kind of where you're not. It's an unnatural place to to use. You know, you can't use your hands, of course. Uh, so it was just tough, uh, tough. He wasn't sure what to do there. So it happens. And it seemed to be very, very hard. I've never played soccer. My brother did for a little bit. He was actually uh, pretty good at it. But it, it seems that it's tough that you have to play with your feet or your body the whole game instead of using your hands. I mean, I see a ball flying at my face. I'm not going to want to jump at it with my head. Sure. Obviously, I want to try uh, to catch it. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, that's something that uh, you, you break uh, the more you play. Um, you, you still even see at the professional level sometimes uh, defenders will get their hands or offensive players will get their hands where they shouldn't be. Uh -oh. oh, we got a runner here. Oh, oh. oh all right. Man, that was... That one was looking like yeah, it was about that, to go right in. Yeah, we had an unmarked runner there. That's that's tough. We call that a counterattack. I was talking about that a little bit uh, uh, earlier, that you know they're, they're running down and we're, we're running in the wrong direction. Yeah. You know, as a defender, when you're running towards a goal, you're trying to defend, it, it can be difficult. Because even when the ball is playing in your area, you know, you don't want to give, you don't want to score on your own goal, and that happens a lot, even at the at the, the highest of levels. Yeah. So it's it's a tough tougher defenders when they're running uh, at their own goal like that. Nice. There we go. See if we can possess here. All right, here we go. Oh, Spencer Levy has possession. Oh, 
I'll play a little bit behind. The defender was tracking back there. Nice try uh, ball uh, by, by Jarrett there. Jarrett Powers, uh, st strong leg, so kind of try to try to change the uh, the attack here, go from uh, our defensive third and get it to the middle on offensive third. So here we go, throw in out of bounds, Indians. We'll see if we can get marked up here and uh, win possession back. About 12 minutes and 20 seconds to play here in half number one. Still nil nil. Yeah, and you know, not a lot. Of, typically, not a lot of uh, not a lot of scoring uh, in soccer when you have two evenly matched teams. Uh, because AJ, a little quiz for you: Where's most of the game played? Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, most of the game is played in the middle. Yeah, you got it. Middle third, though. So you 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 passed your uh, your quiz there, <laughs> so you're learning here. You're learning. Hundred percent. All right, so uh, here we go, Spencer Levy. See if, see if we can find a pass here to unlock their defense. Oh, he got a shot. Oh, All right, 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 right. Taking some chances here. Uh, in basketball term, you, you miss 100% uh, of the shots you don't take. Uh, so that's, you know, we, in order to score, we have to shoot. Um, obviously, we'd like to be a little closer. Uh, when you're that far away, uh, the goalie has a lot of time to react. That's a new experience for me. I'm, I'm glad that you're helping me out here. Jim. Yeah, I'm trying to use some uh, analogies uh, that maybe you're familiar with, with uh, basketball, basketball and football. Oh, yep. uh, we even got rugby in here. So <laughs> not that I know a whole lot about that. I don't really either. I just remember uh, seeing how rough and tough it is in soccer, you know, right up there. All right, good. Wesley got that ball in the air. Uh, kept uh, Sydney from a, a chance to score. So Now, if there was another man there in the box for Sydney, that could have been a dangerous play for him, right? Absolutely. He, he probably would have punched that out. Yeah. Uh, so not all, not all the time can you can you hold on to it. We got a through ball here to Lyman. See what we got. I guess any supporting play. Uh, and what do they, they call it here? It looks like a uh, goal kick. He went with a goal kick there. Unlucky. Good through ball. We'll call it a through ball there where you kind of find a seam and right. you got a runner through. So, uh um, Lyman there was trying to get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so. All right, we're a little bit of our own counterattack there. Unlucky there, ran out of bounds. We got a goal kick here for uh, the Yellow Jack and see if we can win this ball. So, uh, we, when I was coaching, we call the, that the first, you know, try to get to the first ball, and then after that's the second ball. And ideally, the ball doesn't hit the ground. So, we try to get to it with a with a, a header, uh, and then from that, we try to possess out of it. So, first ball, second ball. Uh, and in many games, um, that can be the difference in the game. They can get to the first, you know, the, the first ball, and then you win the second ball, and they hold possession. You're chasing and all those things. Nothing good comes from that. We just got just got under 10 minutes here left. Uh, again, uh, just back and back and forth here. Big one's got five uh, shots right now. Sydney with just three. three. There we go. Now we're going to switch play, possibly. See if we can get out to Harrison here. We do. Played it down to the flag. Oh, look at Z and go. Z and Harrison out running. They're outside back. Got a negative. Whoa, yeah. Sorry about that. Screaming in. That was a great negative ball. We call that a negative ball. We, not that it's bad. Yeah. No, it's that uh, you play the ball backwards. So the defense is just screaming down to get behind the ball. You play it back. Uh, that's where we find some space. So uh, great idea. Here we go, a corner kick. Oh, in the air. Oh, what do we got? Oh, my goodness. Oh, very well headed. Yeah, there we go. We got possession. Oh, Z. Oh, unlucky. Wait, that one uh, right there on Ash Street. Yep, right oh, over. man, right into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> Free ball for Look them. Look Morgan go and get that ball. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she might be back by the end of the game. Unlucky there. Good idea. Uh, that was a nice flurry of events for us. Unfortunately, we didn't get that in the back of the net. But, uh, yeah, you know, putting the pressure on them. That's okay. Here we go, another goal kick. See if we can win this one. All right. Oh, ooh, almost uh, got in front. Spencer Lady getting the first ball. Unlucky out of bounds. Uh, and here we are in the middle third. Again, where a lot of the game has been played. You're right. And uh, you'll see that when uh, you have evenly matched teams quite a bit. All right, get a clear from uh, Powers. See, I'm in there. He might run underneath it. Oh, look at that. 
it's amazing how calculated their headers can be. They have yeah. an idea where their, where their teammates are. Uh, and sometimes, you know, they're, they're half chances, they get lucky, but, you know, many times they have an idea where their players are. And we're talking communication is huge, huge in this game. Uh, you got to communicate uh, where the defenders are and where you're at and where you want the ball and those type of things. Uh, the great teams communicate. Oh, we got a shot. Oh, all right. Yeah, we're getting some, we're getting some chances right now. Uh, and we're getting some uh, passes connected together. So we'll see. And Caden Jones with that attempt just couldn't. Couldn't get it past. Seems like a lot of pick was pick was shot attempts right now are going straight down the middle. We know you you want to kick it more towards one one corner. Yeah. Well, and the other thing too is that some of those shots are coming from 20, 25 yards out. Those are tough to score on. Uh, not that you can't. Right. Uh, but uh, ideally, you'd be a little closer. But you know, if they're going to give us those, we're going to need to take them. And you know, we get. A few of those, you know, if we hit one just right, that's going to be back of the net. So they're going to keep uh, falling back if they is. And if Sydney continues to fall back, we'll take that shot. And as a coach, you would rather see your players take shots, obviously, closer than 25 yards, correct? Absolutely. And, you know, your success rate at 25 yards out is is not real high. Um, maybe if you have a free kick, yeah. uh, you know, you got time. There's no pressure, per se. You have a better chance. Of and the run of the game, you know, why, why, the, why the, you know, it's being played, uh, that, that can be a tough shot because uh, you don't have all the time in the world. It looks like we uh, have a foul and an injury. Uh, it looks like Comstock uh, is checking on him to see if he's okay. I think uh, Comstock great. caused the foul. Too. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, that's still, you know, that happens. So that, that's pretty good sportsmanship there. Uh, looks like the official is talking to him a little bit about it. Didn't quite see what happened. Uh, but uh, looks like we have some pats on the back and, and whatnot. So Robbie is uh, patting, you know, that's, that's good sportsmanship yeah, there is. by, by uh, Robbie Comstock and the Indians. So uh, good to see that, uh, you know. Fair play, and you know they're, both teams are playing hard right now. So yeah, for know. a rivalry game too, you'd like to see those those nice plays, uh, things of sportsmanship. Absolutely. I think Robbie deserves an Indian card for yeah, that. Yeah, well, I tell you, Indian <laughs> card. I, if I had, if I could run out there, I think you'd be a little embarrassed, but I'd give him one for that one. Yeah, Indian card. That's uh, one of our initiatives at the high school. For our, we recognize uh, positive behavior, so that was definitely positive. Oh no. Nice. We got the ball bouncing around there. This, as a coach, you never want to see that. Uh, like I said, bad things happen, uh, can happen when you're down there. But we had numbers behind the ball, and uh, ball is pinging around. We got it cleared out for Sydney throw in now. Good job by Rob to get that one out. And, you know, this gives us a chance to get a uh, formation here, get marked up. You know, get organized, as I say, get organized, com communicate where they're at, where we need to be at. Yeah. Again, communication is huge. So it is in a lot of sports. You know, you yep. see a lot of team-oriented sports like volleyball and soccer and, and things like uh, and basketball. Everything's all about communication. You know, you want to make sure your guys are where they're supposed to be, where they're lined up, and, and everything like that. It's, sure. it's key. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, you got to communicate. Uh, to give yourself an edge or, or to not to lose an edge. Here we go, we're countering right now. Spencer Levy goes through, guy. See what we got. Oh, we got a through ball lineman. Great ball. See what we got. Oh, we got back to him. Oh, I'm lucky. We got Kane and missed it. Oh, Harrison nearly uh, came in. Yeah. Great yeah. ball by Spencer Levy there, lineman. You know, a really unselfish play, and that's kind of what you're looking for. If we got a shot there, that was going to be closer than 25 yards out. Those are the ones that we're looking for. Uh, great work, though. Uh, by the Indians connecting some passes there. Just unlucky. We call that final, the final ball there. The final touch uh, is the key. We just, just missed it. Man, that was a great build up. All right, good hustle. Slow him down. Great. Sydney trying to get it back to the right. third. There we go. We got Powers uh, trying to get the ball out to the edge. Oh, uh, looks like we got a foul. We had a push there on, uh, push against Harris, and he was trying to. To get possession, quick ball here. You'll see that a lot. Quick ball when the defense is uh, not paying attention. Unlucky they, uh, unfortunately they were there. You see number eight there, not letting him turn. That, that, that's pretty good there. Um, Quentin Evans. Quentin Evans, he, great, great effort there. Just like I said, he did not want him to turn there because no. that's when they can pass it and find teammates forward. So uh, great work by Quentin. Seems like Pick was spending a lot of time in the last five minutes of the first half here in Sydney's third of the field. Well, and you'd think maybe we're starting to wear him down a little bit. That's what I'm hoping uh, would bode well for us in the second half. Here we go, Grissom. A little bit of time here. 
bouncy ball. This can be tough. Let's see what we got. All right, Lyman checking back all the way. Unlucky. This is got a counterattack for. Uh, oh, here we go, Hudgens here. We don't. Well, oh, Wesley said, uh oh, we got to pressure that. Okay. All right. Oh man. Oh, that, that was, was a very intense about 30, 40 seconds sorry, right there, Johnny. Sorry to the uh, to our audience because I'm out. <laughs> I lost my breath there. That was not looking good for us. Uh, in the end, it worked out. You know why? Uh, the, Hudgens took himself down and gave himself a very poor angle to, to score. Yeah. Uh, as a goalie and as a defender, you want to push them out. That closes that angle. As a goalie, I can close that down more. So the chances of him scoring means that I had to make a mistake, and we did not make a mistake there. So uh, really good closing that angle down. Again, increasing our chances of stopping him. Uh, and, and that's uh, worked out in our favor. There. We just cannot give Hudgens too many chances uh, in the run of play like that. Ooh, got it. Unlucky. Ooh, got Grissom here doing his job as a holding uh, center mid, keeping the ball uh, in possession for us. Lyman from about 30 out. Unlucky is leaning back there, and that caused that ball uh, to go over. Eight shots of five under two minutes to play here in the first half as you're watching high school soccer here on the Indian Nation Station. Pick what channel five? You're home for Piqua Athletics. I'm A.J. Ganger with John Shostoff, bringing you all the action here from the pitch. Yeah, you got, you know, got Coach Duncan down there and clapping the hands and really supporting our guys. And, you know, they're giving great effort here. We'll see if we can get one here uh, in the last uh, 90 seconds uh, in the back. But right now, Sydney's countering, so we don't want to give them one at this point either. So uh, that would be a real, uh, real backbreaker. Pick with throwing. Though. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what we do here. You know, sometimes as a coach, you want to slow things down here. We'll go in and have 0 0 at home. Uh, but, uh, you know, high school soccer, you never know. We can get a lucky bounce uh, or, you know, something like this. And now we're going. Uh, we, we got about a minute to play, plenty of time. See what we have here. Jones running a pl run of play. Uh, uh, unlucky as he drops it back. Okay, let's see what we got. We got to get this out of here, deal with this. Whoa. Nice job yeah. by Gavin. That was, that was, uh, well, it was, it was Powers. Powers got his head on it, thank goodness. That was not looking good. All right. Robbie's getting it out. Okay. Caden had an unlucky bounce, though. Yeah. Jared Gala, you know, back there as a center back as well. That, that's a tough position. Uh, uh, with Powers and Gala back there, they're, they're really, uh, along with uh, Wesley, uh, we got an offsides call, uh, which means that uh, Sydney uh, has, when the ball was played, and that's always the key, when the ball is played, they had a player behind uh, our last defender. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's the key, and when the ball was played, and that's what we have there, uh, we got... Oh, we're at the half here. Ooh, unlucky. They're going to blow it dead. Almost right. had a shot there. We yeah. go into halftime here. The score, Piqua nil, Sydney nil here from Ward Stadium. We'll take a short break. We'll let John catch his breath. We'll come back here in just a few minutes to get you ready for the second half. Again, you're watching High School Soccer on the Indian Nation Station. Piqua Channel 5, your home for Piqua Athletics. Again, you've been watching high school soccer here on the Indian Nation Station, Pickwood Channel 5. You're home for Pickwood Athletics. I'm A.J. Ganger with Jonathan Shostoff here tonight. Uh, some thanks again to our sponsors who are sponsoring the fall sports season for our Pickwood Indians. Gonzo Radio, radio that listens to you, bringing the true classic hits back to Piqua, the Upper Miami Valley, and to the world. They're on the internet at gonzoradiopiqua.com. America's best choice, windows and more. America proud, American made. Miami Valley Steel, it's a U.S. steel service center where we get a first-hand look at the steel culture and strive to achieve at Miami Valley Steel right here in Piqua, 201 Fox Drive, right here in Piqua, Ohio. Go to them for all your steel needs. East of Chicago Pizza, it's pizza done right. 1560 Covington Avenue, call them at 937-773-1233 for, I have to say, probably the best pizza in Piqua besides Beppo Uno. Morris Heating and Cooling Comfort Systems been proudly serving Piqua Troy and the surrounding community. Smarter solutions for your home. They've been located at 401 South College Street since 1993. Mulligan's Pub is the only place to go in downtown Fort Piqua Plaza. Catering and fine cuisine is prepared by Chef James Patton. Dick Lumpkins at 150 Robert M. Davis Parkway in Piqua. If you got a bump, go and see Lump. 
Piqua Harley Davidson at 1501 East Ash Street here in Piqua, promoting the passion for motorcycling for our customers and community by providing an excellent and exciting and fun experience through integrity based principles. Unity National Bank, it's your hometown banking solution right here at 215 North Wayne Street in Piqua. The Miami Valley Center Mall, the center of your life, which is actually just down the street from us here tonight at Wurtz. Go and also in the Walmart Shopping Center. Go there for all of your holiday shopping needs. Excuse me, holiday shipping needs. Uh, SC Collectibles in the Miami Valley Center Mall, your one-stop shop for NFL and collegiate sports memorabilia, apparel, and collectibles. Beppo Uno, it's the finest Italian pizzeria in Piqua, Ohio. Tell the Williamson family that the Indian Nation Station sent you at 414 West Water Street. And finally, Brownlee Way Realty, 611 North Main Street here in Piqua. Oh, it's nil-nil here at a half. We've got a few minutes here before we get back out here. John, what have you seen so far in the first half from both teams? Yeah, well, both teams have uh, created some chances there. Uh, I feel like uh, we, we uh, as uh, the Indians, have had uh, a few more of those chances. Again, uh, we've had quite a few shots from about 25 yards out. Uh, hopefully in the second half uh, we can get a little closer. Um, as you notice, towards the end of that first half, uh, probably about the last five to ten minutes, uh, we were possessing a little bit more and, and really uh, looked like the game changed a little bit. So hopefully that continues here in the second half and uh, maybe we've warmed down a little bit. Um, you know, when you possess, that's one of the, the keys is, you know, you may not get your goals right away, but um, if you can uh, break down the other team and uh, really test their conditioning, uh, that 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 uh, bodes well for for the uh, home team here. So hopefully that that trend can continue. Um, we've been playing a lot through the middle with our center mids. Uh, maybe we can uh, try to get outside uh, a little bit more as we uh, build it up uh, and, and doing so. There's a little more space and less defenders out there. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, our center mids have done a good job of linking up and uh, staying connected. And what that means is they don't get too far away from each other and uh, we're able to pass to each other and uh, down the field. So, uh, again, a big second half here. Conditioning will start to play a, a key in the last 40 minutes, uh, as well as communication as you get tired. And uh, what I used to tell the players here, the tired touch, what happens is your touch doesn't always, uh, uh, isn't the same as it was at the beginning of the game because, yeah. uh, you know, you're a little tired. So hopefully we can uh, stay focused and, and have good touches here and keep possession. So uh, really excited to see what uh, we have in store. Great game. Uh, we got to keep track of Hudgens. Uh, he's had a few chances going down. We can't give him too many of those because uh, that's not going to bode well for us because he's a solid player. Uh, we need to know where he's at and not let him uh, run free at, uh, at the goalkeeper at forward. So, uh, again, maybe some keys to the second half is keep possession, and uh, we need to keep an eye on Hudgens uh, and possibly uh, see if we can get a break, break their uh, defense uh, for a through ball and get a little closer to the net than 25 yards. So I, I would say those are the key to the second half. Uh, for the Indians. Now both teams are going to obviously switch sides of the field. Pick was going to be on the left right now, and Sydney will be going to the right. No, yeah, I think well, Sydney so will be going to the right, Pick will be going to the left. Yeah, so uh, the Indians will be going left to right for us here as, uh, towards the goal, uh, defending the left, and uh, Sydney obviously is going to be moving from right to left. Um, so hopefully we uh, are down on their uh, defensive third, our offensive third, uh, quite a bit of this half, so we'll see. Uh, been down. We were down in the offensive third, you know, for a very good portion of the, the final minutes of that, that first half. Yeah, that's right, and hopefully that, uh, that'll keep working for us, and like I said, good things will happen if we can do that uh, the majority of the time, so we'll see what the second half has, and uh, again, this first five minutes out of halftime is huge. Uh, just come out of a 10-minute break and how you can respond to that. Uh, sometimes as a coach, you don't even want to go to halftime. You know, you're, you're playing well, you just want to keep playing, and uh, that, that goes for uh, about any sport if you're, if you're yeah, playing well. Does. If you're not playing well, you can't wait to get to halftime. So we'll, we'll kind of see what this, this first five minutes has. It's really crucial in uh, setting the tone for the second half. we got to get some pressure there on that ball. Don't let him turn. So he's, we're getting a little bit too much space there. He probably could have turned 
as you notice, he played backwards, but in order to go forward, sometimes you got to go uh, back to go forward uh, where there's not the pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in soccer, you don't want to go in the pressure. Uh, the defender has the advantage in a one-on-one -on -one most of the time. Obviously, that can uh, vary depending on how good the defender is and how good the offensive player is, but... Um, if it was one-on-one, -on -one, I, I would take uh, the defender most of the time. It's the the law well, of averages in the defender's uh, favor. There we go. We had a turn right there. We don't want him to turn there. We just didn't have any pressure on his back. That's a nice pass. Oh, man. Oh, oh where's Wesley? There we go. He's going to eat that up. Uh, keep, see if we can get the possession going here. Again, the first five minutes, uh, first minute here, uh, looked like Sydney had uh, all that possession. So... Now it's our chance here to see what we can do. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a foul. He's going to play advantage here. I'll explain what that is after uh, Lyman uh, moves down here. He got one-on-one. -on -one. We'll see what he's got. There he goes. He doesn't take him on. Unlucky there, uh, first touch. You notice that touch is right into the defender. Unlucky there for us. Uh, we, we, wanna, we don't want to lose possession there. That, unlucky. But advantage means there was a foul played. Uh, there was a foul in, in the run of play, but since... Uh, the advantage was to us if we kept possession there. They didn't. They don't. They don't call that call that foul per se. Mm -hmm. uh, so advantage is is maybe something unique uh, to soccer. Uh, you know, in football, you know, decline penalties. Yeah. Uh, kind of that. It's like a natural decline. Yeah, we're we're running, but we don't have to make any motion that we decline that. Uh, it's a judgment call by the official. So he said, ah, oh, it's an advantage that I don't stop this play because of that foul. So you guys keep on going. Oh, here we go. We got a no no turn there. We got to get some pressure. We got to track back here. Good. See that? Oh, uh, Comstock. Comstock track. All right. We got one. Oh, oh stepped on it. Unlucky. There we go. We keep possession here. Ah. Uh, unlucky. That heel pass. That's a tough pass to complete. Uh, there they're going down the edge here. Again, they. Bad shot. Yeah. Well, you know, going down that edge there. Uh, that's a really difficult angle. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said earlier. Yeah, we, it's as a defense, we want them going down there. That angle closes on them as they run out there. So, again, uh, that is an advantage for us and good defending. All right, we looks like we're slowed down here a little bit. Um, that was a great free kick. See what we have. Jones is speeding up now. He almost outran the ball there. Oh, we'll see what we got. We, he's showing deflection, so we got a we got a corner kick out of this. I think Jones is hoping for a foul on that shot, but uh, we're getting a corner, so we'll see what we have again. Trying to get loose here, uh, trying to you know typically trying to get a header yeah. uh, here. <clears throat> we have some really good aerial players, uh, Jones, uh, Comstock's pretty good in the air lineman. So we this is an advantage for us. Can we get to it? Oh, unlucky. Touch. Oh, got a bad hit. Oh, unlucky there. Oh, man. Got a little half volley there. Half volley. Um, just didn't get to uh, stay over that. Uh, so, we'll see. Yeah, $3 Chick-fil-A sandwich. I might have to check out here, AJ. Got Chick-fil-A here at the games. We got a goal kick. You notice they played a short ball. They're trying to keep possession there, but look at that. Look at the Indians there. Okay, fortunate no bounce. Come on, Spen oh, Spencer. Oh. All right, keep possession. Turns into, oh, uh, oh. you got to be careful there. Yeah, foul. Foul. They're going to call it. They, they, uh, oh, oh, they, they, now they're going to have a conversation with it, whether this was in the box or not. And uh, the line judge is saying outside yeah. the box. And, yeah. you know, I, there's no video review right. uh, in high school soccer, of course. Uh, I, I don't know if you've seen, though, in the professionals, they go to the video review, and uh, if they had that, who knows? But uh, close, though. It looked it was, from up here. And I, I understand, you know, a very tight game like this, if it's close, you're, you're going to play it outside of the box, because if it was inside the box, we would have a penalty kick. Uh, the chances of us scoring that are pretty good. So... Uh, we'll see what we have here. Grisham's going to take this. Yeah. If you notice the players right in front of the ball, they got to be 10 yards away. I'm not convinced they're 10 yards away right yeah, now. That's what Grissom, the official is saying, too. Grissom's asking for a check on that. And the uh, Oh, there we go. So they, they were looking at about 7 yards. Again, that's a tactic that every team does to slow it down to get organized. And if they don't, if they don't check it, uh, that's advantage uh, for the defense. So we see. Close ball. Oh, runner. Oh, we got a chance. Oh, unlucky. Ah. ah. I like 
like to say that was a dummy, but I'm not sure it was. A dummy means like you fake on purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think Lyman did that. However, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. And what happens when you do dummy, as they call that? Uh, the defense just goes right to that, uh, leaves that person. Uh, in that case, it looks like Spencer Levy uh, open for an uncontested shot. Yeah. So um, we're not calling uh, K dummy. He, we're not calling him a dummy there, just call it a dummy, uh, because what happens is you, you fool the defense and they come to you and that opens up one of your own players. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt there and uh, give us a Spencer Levy, uh, almost an uncontested shot, unlucky there for us. Beck was spending a lot of time down the Sydney third here to open up the half, which is a good thing trying to wear their defense down. Yeah, we were talking about that. That would be a big first five minutes here. It looks like I would say we've won that. However, in a 0-0 zero -zero game, you, you can never let down uh, as much as uh, you're maybe controlling play. Uh, just like now, they're going to have a corner kick here. Uh, and so hopefully we're ready to go. we got to track back, get marked up. Uh, and we got to be the first to this ball in the air because if they are, that's going to be extremely dangerous. The key to this corner kick uh, is that the uh, kick that the, uh, the the kicker, you know, here in the corner puts a lot of pace on it. So all that the offensive player has to do is uh, get a touch on it. He doesn't have to put any, any uh, uh, you know, power into it. Now, right. if he floats this in there, then that offensive player, you know, have to put a little bit more on it. We got to get it clear. Oh, we don't want that too many times. We got another no. corner kick. It was... Thankfully, we deflected that because that wasn't looking good for us there. Yeah, so, you know, the, the kicker wants to put all the pace on it, and all the offensive player wants to do in the box is have to redirect it. Right. Uh, it makes it much more difficult for the offensive player if he has to put some umph into, uh, into that. So if he floats it in here, that's an advantage to us. If he drives it in there, then that's going to be an advantage for the offense. There's another one. Here it comes. That looks like a driven ball. That's the, oh, Wesley. Wesley well, was trying he to get that one. Yeah, it was all the way over him. So fortunate for us that uh, rules out the uh, the end touch uh, for a goal kick for us. All right, so we got to get back on uh, back on our end. We don't want to be uh, down here in the Stevens of third. Uh, big goal kick. Unlucky we weren't the first to that, and it's coming back towards us. Uh, Jared Gala gets a touch. And we'll see if uh, Wesley's going to come out. Ah. Uh, well, that's, a, you know, Powers had to do that. He, he can't, if he's not sure that Wesley's going to get to that, he's got to just knock it out of bounds. Right. You know what? A throw in, uh, you know, is not going to hurt us. Throw in's better than getting another goal. Oh, oh, or a goal there. So, uh, absolutely, any day. So, you know, I would consider that a great play because he was not, uh, you know, messing around there. Uh, we got to get some pressure there. Good right. block. Uh, that would hurt a little bit. A little bit. Looks like we're at a corner kick again here. You know, corner kick, we don't want to give up too many of these. They got some tall tall players as well, so we got to be the first to get to this. Just about uh, eight and a half minutes here into the uh, second half. Uh, they've had uh, maybe three, uh, three corners. We got to get pressure on this. We don't want him uncontested. All right. Good job, yeah, that he knows. He floated that in. So it's going to take a lot for an uh, offensive player to, to get some get that uh, pass Wesley for it there. Wesley boots it deep. Boots it, yeah. Midfield there. We got Lyman. He's working on that second ball. We got a pressure there. All right. We, we're getting caught back here a little bit. We need to push forward. Unlucky there. Lift that right out. We'll get a throw in. We got Z and Harrison on the sideline here getting ready to sub in. Looks like he's coming in for Spencer Levy who put in a good uh, nine-minute shift there, uh, had some opportunities. So get him a rest, get, some, get him some water on this uh, warm, unseasonably warm September human day. day. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if we made it to a record high, but they're saying it might be close. Here we go. We got a breakout. Ly oh, Lyman's nice running at him. Ah. Oh, unlucky there. We were running at him, though. That's what we want to do, uh, get in that space. All right, the, the Hudgens, he's now playing in the middle of the field. They've made an adjustment. They're putting him in the middle of the field. Uh, so we'll kind of see uh, if we can keep track of him. Hudgens with goes. a good touch. That's a great touch. This is not good. Was he oh, offside? Oh, no, we got a goal. Got a goal for Sydney. Just talked about, you know, Hudgens getting moved to the middle, and uh, he made his pay there. Uh, he's been playing well this season. I want to turn the clock off. Turn the clock off. Turn the clock off. Clock. Clock. Well, we're trying to get the clock stopped here after a goal. He stopped the clock. 
There we go. We, we got the clock stopped. After a goal, you, you stop the clock. And, you know, in a game like this, we're going to need all, all the time that we can get. So uh, we we got to be careful of that. So Sydney is, draws first blood yeah. 10 minutes into the second half to go up 1 0 over Piqua. Yeah, Still plenty of time. Plenty, we got some time. We got 30, you know, just about 30 minutes. I bet they put some time back on the clock here. Oh, it looks like they're talking. You know, it's interesting. Uh, there's. I don't know where this study came from, or it would be interesting to do a study if it's not out there. Uh, what percentage, what percentage of goals are scored within five minutes of another goal? I mean, it's just really high, and uh, you know, I think part of it is sometimes you get that first goal and maybe you get momentum, or uh, maybe you have a letdown, whatever it may be. Oh, we scored, so uh, we'll let down. We'll let the other team score. So uh, this next five minutes is going to be crucial for both teams. Uh, see if we can get get one back on the board here. So uh, mark that it's going to be about 30 minutes left. We'll have to check the. With they're the five yeah, they're trying to put some more time on the clock here yeah. right now. Sorry, I, I yelling into their clock, clock, clock. We need to get some more time on that clock, and we'll make sure that we get all the time that we need here. Again, you're watching high school soccer here on the Indian Nation Station Pickwood Channel 5. Your home for Pickwood Athletics. There we go. 30 right, minutes we got exactly. 30, 30 minutes. Okay. So, again, we got to get ready to come out here and see if we can uh, uh, get some work done here in the next 30 minutes, maybe even five. You know, it, there, there's a high percentage of goals that are scored within five minutes of a of a goal. So, that so could be in our favor. There. Yeah, we got to make sure. There it is. Oh. oh, there we go. We got some passing around there. Nice Quinn job. Evans uh, got possession of the ball. wasn't looking good for us again. So we gotta get uh, get organized here a little bit. Get communicated. Watch the hands. Strong player there, number ten for Sydney. Yeah, Sydney uh, spent a lot of time at pick with yeah. third. Try right. to stop. Yeah, Wesley was uh, ready for that. I don't think that he quite got his uh, foot wrapped around the ball. I think he was trying to cross that. It didn't work out. Uh, number twenty nine. Uh, for Sydney, it looks like uh, maybe that was Thomas Atwood. So didn't quite get around the ball there. Uh, foul uh, two. Oh, it looks like we might have been offsides there on that through ball. Unlucky. Uh, that was close, you know, and you're going to get those every game. If you're playing that line like you're supposed to, sometimes you're going to go across and get to offsides. You don't want to do that too often, but sometimes you got to go across it to know where it's at. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Climate was pushing that line, and uh, yeah, we got offsides. No big deal. We'll, we'll try to, to win this next ball here. They play it short, trying to keep possession. We're pressuring it there. Robbie Comstock looked like it was uh, kicked off of him, so it'll be a Sydney throw in. That was Caden Jones It was kicked off. Oh, was that Caden Jones? Yep, Excuse Caden. me. All right. We got to see if we can. Uh, looks like another corner for Sydney, so we got to get. I got to get the Indians here focused and ready to go for this corner kick. That goal uh, seemed like it kind of brought the more out down. Yeah, we, we got to uh, got a rebound here and uh, get our energy levels back up. There's a lot of games still left to play. Yeah. We're not out. Oh, a short corner here. We haven't seen that tonight. Again, trying to catch us off guard. I would consider that maybe a missed touch uh, for Sydney. And now we're counter. We got, well, we got uh, three on two. If we can, we can counter here quickly. Get a touch. Okay. I might get all the way to Grissom hey, here. Harrison. All right. We're, Harrison's streaking down the sideline. We got the ball. Uh, we're slowing down here. We got Harrison. See if we can get a good cross. Oh, no. Unlucky again. Didn't quite get his foot wrapped around it like he would have wanted to. Uh, and that kind of goes uh, harmlessly uh, over the end touch line. So, goal kick for Sydney. That was looking promising there when we had like a three on two. And that's what you're looking for in soccer. You're trying to get that numbers advantage. Uh, just unlucky there, and they, they, you know, the Sydney defense did a good job of. Yeah, they closed in. Yeah, quick they, they there delayed that. You know, you're, you're, you're trying to go through. Uh, you know, when you're in that counter situation, uh, you want to delay. Yeah. You know, you're trying to get, hopefully, uh, get your cavalry back, if you will, and uh, get some help there. So, you know, that, that's important, and they, they did a good job there. We got a ball up in the air. This, again, it's very difficult for the defense when you're running towards your own goal and trying to get a bouncing ball. We look like we handled that pretty well. Powers, and we get a clear. And look, Lyman, this could be trouble for them. Ah, oh, unlucky. Good J. Switch play there, and that 
all types of space over there for Sydney as they switch play. So uh, good for them. They, they're looking like a little bit more confident here, and uh, we're looking uh, like we're, we're just struggling a little bit to to get organized. See if we can get uh, nice that pass out. Yeah, a little yeah. heel. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough pass. Ah. That can be a tough tough pass. And Jones just couldn't catch up to it as goes out. As a defender, yeah, you know, you're trying to do three things. Or you're, 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 it's either delay, you know, like Sydney was doing there. Uh, you're in contain, where you're trying to just keep them in front of you. Uh, that's typically maybe when they have possession uh, in the offensive third. Uh, then you attack, and a lot of times you'll attack uh, when you have support. Yeah. So if when you attack, that also gives them a chance to counter you and get around you, but you want to have support. So if that happens, they got somebody else to go up against them. Like I said earlier, uh, the I, I would say the defender has um, you, you know, the advantage most times, I mean, depending on the player, of course. Uh, but you know, when they have to go through two uh, defenders, that, that's, uh, you know, odds are typically in your favor as a, a defender. So again, those are delay and contain and then attack. So kind of three things that at least that's what I would I, I coach that quite a bit because you don't want to attack when you're in a counter because that might make it even worse for you because you might take yourself out of the play. Sydney has the possession over there on the outs outside. Uh, if you notice, Sydney's kind of beating down the edges a little bit more here. Yeah, we talked about trying to maybe get the Indians to do that. Uh, and uh, looks like uh, looks like the Yellow Jackets uh, heard me talking about it. So. Zian Harrison uh, pressuring the ball right now. Again, look at him forcing that ball back, staying on that kid's back. Uh, he's all over the he place. He is. He's a high energy uh, player right there, uh, Zian Harrison. So uh, good uh, pressure there. And, you know, we're going to need that as this, as this clock ticks down to about 25 minutes left here. Pickwood needs to get the advantage here and get down there to Sydney. Yeah. You just really haven't had the opportunity here in the early early parts of the, the second half. And now you're almost halfway through it after that goal to really get back into Sydney's third. Yeah, it looks like we got a fresh, some fresh legs in there. Zach Levy, number 26, playing in the midfield. That's he, a foul. Uh, I'm not sure what he called here. It looks like he called a throw in. Didn't quite call a foul there, but... I was just saying, Zach Levy, he played a lot of outside back. We're coming off a few injuries. Uh, looks like we're getting closer to a full squad tonight. Uh, looks like there is a foul there. So, uh, look at you, AJ, <laughs> on this game. Very good. But uh, Zach Levy has been playing a lot of outside back defender. Uh, now he's uh, back maybe in a position he's more comfortable with, but he did a pretty good job as outside back here the last few games. Oh, unlucky for Le uh, Lyman there. Got possession there. Uh, oh, all right. Here we go. We're playing to the outside here. Harrison, a lot of energy. Almost fell. Oh, all right. Good no possession. We're a little bit too close there. <clears throat> if you notice, uh, Quinton was maybe a little close to the end, but we kept possession. There's we'll Robbie. Take it. Robbie. Oh, oh what a oh, great shot. Yeah. 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 You know, the goalie did what he's supposed to. He spilled it out to the side. You know what? Uh, Heidenreich did what he was supposed to, and he's supposed to follow that shot and put that right in the back of the net. Here we are, tied up 1-1 one one with 23, just over 23 minutes left in the game. Uh, new life for the Indians. You know what? They scored on, what, 30 minutes? We're at yeah. 23, so not quite five minutes, but we it's talked close. about that threshold. And here we are, new life. The student section is pumped. And I would Wait, say that I mean, it, it's taken a while for yeah. to get some life here into this stadium. Yeah, finally. Right. Oh Robbie. man! And then hide and run. You know what? That that was that was important for many reasons. One for the energy. We weren't looking great. Uh, that was a great shot by Robbie Comstock uh, to put the goalie in that position. Full stretch and Heinrich just cleaning that up. That was a right. huge goal uh, for the sophomore. Here we go. We're attacking again. Oh, we got a foul in a great position for us. That's a foul. We're going to play that into the box and possibly get a shot here, or a, a header. So, See, we're going to have to take the shot. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we're going to shoot from there. We're going to, oh, we got a yellow card. Look at that yellow card for uh, number, is that 10? Number 10 for number, the yellow jack. Yeah. He's getting the yellow card. You know, yellow. and uh, for Jones, and uh, looks like he played, he's a, a defensive center mid. And, you know, you don't want your defenders on yellow cards. No. Because if he gets another one, he is he's bye bye. out of the game, and they have to play down a player. Uh, that's never good. Never good. Here we are. Uh, looks like we have uh, 
Powers uh, on the ball here. Um, by the way, they have a yellow card. That they can sub, and we should be able to sub on this as well. So we'll see if we get Jones. He's on the end line here. Remember, Jones is really good in the air, so that'd be great to have him here in here right now. Uh, so that should happen. We'll see if the, if that does happen. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. And you got Comstock almost playing directly in the, in the, in the middle of the shot. Yeah, well, he, he might be getting we'll, we'll see what happens here. Maybe a rebound uh, like we just scored. Uh, we'll kind of see what happens. I don't... The official's talking to, I think, this one of the Sydney assistant coaches. Oh, uh, okay. He's, uh... This isn't looking good for the uh, senior assistant coach or the uh, head, yeah, coach right head coach right now. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, hopefully uh, we can keep the momentum here. We'll see what uh, what transpires here with the coach. Well, Looks like a clear explanation of, of what happened, and uh, maybe uh, the coach over there, uh, Jamie uh, Fridley, maybe he didn't like uh, the explanation. Well, that happens sometimes in coaching. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been there where you know, don't always necessarily agree with the explanation, but no. you live with it, you move on, and you know the key here uh, for for Fridley is that he's going to focus on continually to, to coach uh, his players. Uh, you know, for, from the Sydney aspect, uh, because sometimes you can get focused on the officials when mm -hmm. something like that happens. All right, so we're we're probably about 32 yards out here. Uh, I would say a shot from here would not, if, if you're messy, maybe he chips it in. Unlucky. I, I think that was probably our best option there. You shoot from there, that's, uh, you, you make the, the goalie look good, you know. Yeah. So that can be a tough shot unless you're Cristiano Ronaldo or uh, uh, Messi. So, and we don't have those players yet. I'm not saying <laughs> nobody out there. I'm not saying that we don't have those type of players out there. But that play but, that we just saw for the goal, you know, looked like a play you'd see in professional. Yeah, yeah that was a great, I was calling it a half volley from Heinrich. You know, he didn't, that's what we call a one-timer. He didn't, uh, he didn't control that at all. He just knew what he had to do, and that was put that thing in the back of the net, and he did that. So here we are just ticking under 22 minutes. We're in a one-to-one -one game. Uh, feels like the momentum and energy has shifted uh, with that goal, and uh, rightfully so. We're in the home crowd here, a lot of energy. Uh, here we go. We got possession here in the middle of the field. Now we got to get another one here because yeah. obviously you, you don't want to tie your right. No, no, you don't want to do that. Uh, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, you know, we're playing well. Uh, we'll see if we can get another one in there. Here we go, Hudgens uh, kind of orchestrating things for them here. The we're guys are almost, almost off sides. Yeah, and, like, you know, here we go. Wesley uh, with that roll out for a goal kick. Uh, we'll keep possession there. So kind of a frantic here, uh, a few minutes. You know, the Indians are looking pretty good right now. I'll uh, we'll see if we can get another one. Again, try to keep some possession and uh, you know, uh, limit Sydney's chances as well with that possession. We talk about it here. You, you, getting to the final 20, you just got to really grit this out. Uh, start getting on some tired legs and uh, tired touches we talked about a little earlier. The nice thing is this is uh, the Indians' only game this week. Uh, so they can leave it all out on the field in the first game. So... Uh, they don't have anything coming up here on Thursday, so that's, you know, they... And I mean, it's a, it's a good thing for them, too. you got homecoming coming up, obviously, yeah. and you got a couple, you know, you, you, Robbie, who's got to play Friday night, even Friday though he's night. kicking the ball. Yeah, well, that's that's important, you know, as we get ready for Sydney, and there we go. Jones in the right place. See what we got. We got Lehman getting ready to run. Okay, we got, oh, unlucky there. Good play by the center back. A nice pass attempt, though. Yeah, that's a good idea. The ideas are there. We just didn't quite execute it uh, all the way. Heinrich again on the ball, playing well right now, making some good runs. We're attacking down the middle. We'll see what we got. Trying to wrong foot him. Anderson coming up the side. Oh, oh my goodness. A little volley there. Yeah. Hey, you don't see that too often, but, man, that was, a, that was a pretty good attempt. Would you have taken that, or would you have passed it out to Harrison and streaked uh, it down the you know, You'd like to say I pass it out, but, man, I... That was pretty close, and that goalie was wrong-footed. Yeah. Uh, he, he, hadn't, you know, he wasn't sure what was going on. So, you know, not uh, – yeah, if it goes in the back of the net, I can't argue <laughs> with that. So, Halfway through the second half here from Word Stadium, Pickle 1, Sydney 1. Got a goal off of uh, a rebound for Heinrich. That was a nice goal, too. It was, it was nice. Got the crowd pumped up. 
get a, like I said, a huge uh, student section here tonight, uh, rallying around the players. So it's a great, you know, it's a good thing that the students are getting out. We saw it um, during the Sydney game. We had both Sydney student section and we had Pickwick student section doing things you would see in a basketball game. You know, fighting, not really fighting back and forth, but going back and forth with each other. Yeah. You know, you got the Pickwick student section here tonight. It's great to see that students are not only showing up for football games, but they're supporting yeah. volleyball and soccer and all these other sports. A lot, lot of well. support. A lot of support going on. And Heinrich coming out here after about a 21-minute shift in there. Uh, he, rightfully so. He might deserve a break here so he can come back in for the last 10, 15 minutes. Uh, pretty strong. He's playing well out there on the wing. We talked about it, trying to get the ball out on the edges. And uh, where did the goal come from? A rebound from one of our wing players. So. Uh, Here's the we'll goal kick. That. Goal kick. Nice kick over midfield. Uh, Powers plays it back. Throw in for the uh, Yellow Jackets. Again, you're watching high school soccer here on the Indian Nation Station. Piqua Channel 5, your home for Piqua Athletics. Again, the score, Piqua 1, Sydney 1. I'm A.J. Ganger with John Shostoff here tonight getting you all the action from Work Stadium. Pressure this. Oh, man, that was a great through ball. Not what we want. Pressure that. Nice. Oh, uh, be <laughs> careful. Oh, my goodness. you got to be careful sliding in there in that box. You yeah. take that player out, and that's going to be a penalty for them. So... A penalty kick, so we got to be careful uh, going in and stay. Yeah, yeah, we did well there. Don't get me wrong. We right. just got, man, as a coach, you're like, oh, hope the hope you can stop because once you slide, you have no breaks. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully it's well calculated. Uh, you know what you're doing. So oh man, we got to be careful there. Robbie bumping in. Yeah, a little bump there. You got to be careful with those arms. Okay, we play it out here. See what we can do. Wow. Nice slide. Well, down. he's got to be careful. If you notice, his, it's a corner. His, his cleats were up. A little yeah. throw in there on the side, it looks like. A uh, throw in. Uh, yeah, throw in. But uh, his studs were up. He's got to be careful. He contacts that. I mean, uh, in the professionals, that would be a red card here. I think they'd probably give a yellow card. Yeah. Uh, you know, players can get hurt when you, you have studs up like that. So, again, uh, looked like he had it calculated. But, uh, again, um, I, I think Zian did a good job getting out of the way as well. Here we go. We're, oh, great pass from uh, Powers to, to go. And here we go. We're attacking Lyman, making those runs all night. You know, he's, he, he makes, you know, 20, 30 oh. yard foul on Lyman. But he's yeah. making those 20, 30 yard sprints, those diagonal runs all night. Uh, and that puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And, you know, with his pace, I mean, his speed, uh, they have to know where he's at at all times. So, you know, with uh, about 16 minutes left here, maybe we can find him on one of those when he's streaking through. And, See if we can get up two to one uh, in, in the uh, closing stages of this game. Trying to take home a win to tie things up in the yeah. Old Sports Trophy race too. That's right. I think that's the farthest thing from their mind right now. But uh, yeah. obviously, you know, we, we can think about it up here in the box. That's uh, why we're we're the broadcasters and they're the players right. on the field yeah, for, for <laughs> many reasons. Uh, uh, that's probably the least of the reasons why. So. Here we go, Gavin. Gavin Stravel coming in for uh, Harrison, who played uh, played well, high energy. Yeah. I uh, really uh, gave a great effort there. Looks like uh, Stravel, um, you know, he's going to play well outside mid there as well, where uh, Harrison was. Oh, you're right there. Uh, Grissom doing what defensive center mids do. Take possession, pass it out, see if he can distribute here. Oh, he's going to take a shot. <laughs> clock under uh, control here, but uh, <laughs> look at that, oh, we're up two to one, <laughs> two to one, two to one, two to one. And it's interesting there, you know, not a real powerful shot, no. but you think about the placement, and you know, the goalie wasn't quite ready for that, and what right. we call is wrong-footed, where the goalie's going the wrong way and where the, the shot went, and so when that happens, really difficult to make that save, because you have to get your, inner, or your uh, weight uh, distributed again, but whoa, what a great strike, as in... Great strike, as in it was in the right place. Oh, it looked like they were uh, discussing if that was a goal. I'm not sure what was going on there, unless they gave a yellow card. 
Yep, they gave, oh, they gave a yellow card. Sorry, so never a question of that was a goal. Thank goodness, because yeah. I about lost my lungs on that <laughs> one. That was a great shot. <laughs> Looks like we got a yellow card uh, for number 23, possibly. Uh, Either 23 or 22. Gavin, it's Gavin Miller. I think that? it's Gavin Miller, okay. number 22. Not sure what's going on with the goalie here. We got a got a discussion here with about five players uh, from Sydney and the uh, ref gives us a good chance uh, to get some water here for the Indians. Yeah. And a good chance for us to thank some more of our sponsors. Absolutely. Obviously Gonzo Radio, it's radio that listens to you. America's Best Choice yeah. Windows and more. America Proud, American Made, Miami Valley Steel, East of Chicago Pizza, it's pizza done right. Morris Heating and Cooling Comfort Systems have been proudly serving Pickwood Troy and the surrounding communities since 1993. Mulligan's Pub, Dick Lump, Dick Lumpkin's Body Shop. If you've got a bump, go see Lump. Piqua Harley Davidson, Unity National Bank, your hometown banking solution. The Miami Valley Center Mall, it's the center of your life. Go and Postal in the Walmart Shopping Center. Uh, SC Collectibles in the Miami Valley Center Mall. Beppo Uno, the finest Italian pizzeria here in Piqua, Ohio. They got great pizza too. And Brown Leeway Realty, thanking them for sponsoring the Indian Nation Station through the fall. All right, here we go, 15, uh, just over 15 minutes. You said Bebo Rudos, man, nothing like their all-you-can-eat pe- uh, pasta. I enjoy that quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> East of Chicago, they actually uh, feed our kids every now and again. Yeah. Uh, lunch, so uh, great to have them. Here we go, I got a free kick. Look like there's a foul. We just ticked under 15 minutes left. Okay, Arcade was ready to take that one back for another goal. Yeah, the issue is we don't want to give up these fouls because you know what they're going to do here. Play it in there. Um, and uh, AJ, what happens if we're on our defensive third? We're we're bad. We're yeah, in trouble. Bad, bad things can happen. So Wesley uh, reads it. All right. Oh man, good thing that player there wasn't uh, taller, but uh, Wesley gets to it. Just like the announcer just said, not in my house. <laughs> not in my house. <laughs> I don't know if he had a whole lot of energy there, but he played it well. Okay, we got King Jones. We got breakaway. Shoot it. Oh, oh, just, just, just a little We're bit. We're going to get a corner kick out of it, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, corner kick looks like. Oh, man, that, that could have been uh, that could have been it right there. You yeah. got a 3-1 lead with 14 minutes left. Oh, man. Whew, my, I, I thought we were there. I, I got to <laughs> breathe, 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 yeah, breathe. breathe yeah. <laughs> yeah, get excited there. You get one-on-one like that. It's usually a good thing. We got to, oh, 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 it was a hit. Oh, it did it. Oh, I thought maybe it's he was good. standing into the goal, uh, too, when ooh, he had to got that Just a reminder, you know, maybe football, we might have had a goal there, but, again, the ball has to be all the way yep. across. Yep. Let me talk to her. Oh, so close. Pick well in two to one. Two to one here. Uh, here we go. We got to now. Now we got to manage the game. Yeah. Um, Don't play to to lose. You have yeah, to play, yeah, play to win. win. Keep attacking. Yeah, that and uh, you want to kind of uh, do a little management here, where slow the game down. You know, we we don't necessarily want it so. Uh, Caden with a shot. Yeah. Caden Jones. You want to slow fifty yards. Yeah, I, I, I I would uh, tell players that would that was a little ambitious. Yeah. You know, so. Um, but slow the game down. You know, we don't need to be playing at a frantic pace. No. We have the lead. They're the ones that have to push the game. Uh, so we'll kind of see what happens. Got to continue to communicate. Oh, we. Ah, bad. Uh, bad unlucky bad. there. Unlucky. Look, pressure Hudgens there. Kick that out of bounds. Good pressure uh, from the Indians there in the midfield. So we're, we're, swar- we're swarming the Yellow Jackets right yep. there. So that, uh, we'll see. Again, slowing the game down here. We don't need to rush into all these throw-ins. We can take a little time off the clock at this time. Again, you never know if you're going to need it at the end, but uh, you play it like you won't. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you do, then uh, we, we didn't do something right, you know. So we'll see. we got to play with a lot of energy here and can't just put our defense uh, out there. So we'll see. This is see Do they play any this. extra time here? No, no extra time. Uh, they, they would if it was a tournament game. Here we go. We got another breakaway. Jones to Grissom. Grissom. Shot. Oh, 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 oh. Man. Yeah, so that's combination passing right there. If you notice, uh, we played to Jones. Jones played back to him. That's how we got around a few defenders. Got that space. Uh, great, great work. Just uh, that, what we call the final touch. Just what, maybe what we wanted to yeah. be there. They, they're, they're pressuring us. So, again. Uh, that's going to happen sometimes. Here we go. 
they play it short. Let's see if we can pressure this. Uh, right between Gavin yeah, and Yeah, unlucky. That's... Oh. All right, we, so here again, AJ, what do we want to do? We want to throw this in really quickly, right? Yeah. No, we don't want to no. do that. We want to slow the game down, AJ. <laughs> we want to slow this game down. Uh, if you notice, kind of... You know, I'm all about the pace, man. I, I know. We, <laughs> we don't want to be at a frantic pace. So that's we, We've done the work we need to. Now we got to see the game out. So uh, a little bit more defensive in our mind. We don't want to get caught in the counterattack. We need to know where number 13 is at all times, uh, Hudgens. And he's got the ball uh, He's right got now. the ball right now. He's going to strike that. He's getting a little frustrated because we're doing a really good job on him. He's shooting that uh, from... 35 out. Uh, if he does that the rest of the game, uh, we, that would be that would well for us. So Pick was done a good job all game. There have been maybe a couple breakaway opportunities that Hudgens has had, but other yeah. than that, you know, Pick they've obviously studied the tape and they, yeah. you know, practiced that well to keep him out from. from well, the and, and talking to, to Coach uh, uh, Duncan here at the beginning of the game, uh, you know, he he obviously knew who he was and. Talking to the players at lunch today, they obviously knew who he was. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they know uh, the stats. Uh, they look at the G-Walk uh, stats and whatnot, so there's no surprise. Again, when I played, there was none of that. So you didn't necessarily know who the best player was unless you scouted. Uh, here, you know you know who their scoring threats are. There we go. Oh, oh missed touch by the, the back there, but uh, uh, unlucky there for us. Zane Harrison's back in with that energy. Uh, he's got a little pep in his step, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He does. He, he, look at that. Grissom playing with great energy right now. Look at Grissom. We don't want to get in the counterattack right now. They're playing advantage. You see, the, when you, when you see the uh, the referee or the, the, the middle uh, uh, official there with his hands up in the air like a field goal is good. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. Come on, dude. And right there, with just under 10 minutes to go, we, we, we take a 3-1 lead. So we really uh, have to manage the game well now. We are not in any hurry to do anything. Nope. Uh, and, you, you know, with uh, soccer, the clock runs, 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 yep. unless uh, you know, the, the official stops it. And, you know, right now, after a goal, they'll stop it. Uh, once the ball's played, you know, they'll do that. Now, we're, we're going to get a little bit, I would imagine, def a little bit more defensive shape. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to play a little more defensive-minded. Uh, we're not going to maybe take as many offensive chances, I would think, right now with 3-1 to one with 10 minutes to go. Just see the game out, slow the game down, try to chop it up even a little bit, maybe kick the ball out of bounds a little bit more than we normally would, uh, just to, to get the continuity for Sydney uh, out of whack, because we don't need to score anymore. No. We have 3-1. Uh, that was a big goal. Lyman, he's going to get a water. Remember when you said most goals are scored within about five oh, minutes, wow. kind of barely yeah. under, barely over the five yeah. mark. I man. say, it just happens. So Lyman gets his first break tonight think about think about that he's been running yeah. 20 30 yard sprints all night here we are uh what is the goal yeah, <laughs> yeah. in the 70th 70th minute uh he gets his first break so start the clock we need to get that clock going there you go we got the clock running look at grissom just like a and i mean this in, in the most sincere nicest way like a bulldog on that yeah, ball so yeah. i mean he is all over great energy he's going to play with that and if you ever watch him play he plays with that energy about all the time so and when he does man we we look pretty good i mean he's just destroying things and that's his job as a uh defensive uh, center mid so Comstock. Comstock takes on two gets through there flat footed oh, oh okay He's trying to get people involved at the uh, foul on us. Not awful there. It no. gives us a chance to get back, and they're going to try to play this quickly, I would imagine. Oh, well, that's fine. They can take it. They're, they're waiting for their players to get up as well. So we can do that. You know, We're just trying to shorten this game mm -hmm. uh, as much as we can uh, and make them not get the run of play, chop it up a little bit. If we have to, oh, there we go. Is that a foul? Who's that on? I think this, that one's going to be on Sydney. Ah, oh, they play they play on Heidenreich. Oh. Not sure what happened there. Heidenreich was the one that ended up on the yeah, ground. Both of them did, so I'm not sure what happened. Again though, some time is still taking off and here we are under almost uh to eight minutes, so just a little over eight. Uh, again, we don't want to give up too many of these. No. Because uh, they can play the ball unpressured into the box. We just gotta be the first to get it. Wesley's gotta be ready to go. Wesley! Oh, oh. No. 
No, 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 uh, giving him what he what he can there, so that's great. Seven and a half minutes yeah. left to go. Pick with three. Sydney one. Here we go. Is that Hudgens on the ball? Yep. Yeah, I mean he he is he's just a strong player. Again, uh, that's okay. They get throw-ins. Uh, if you notice, it's taking a little bit of time to get this in, and uh, we'll take that. And hopefully you'll notice when we get a throw, and we'll slow some things down here as we go. We need to double team Hudgens. We don't want him turning there. They got a we don't triple want to, uh, team on. Yeah. Him. They all right. Okay, get it clear yeah, here. There we go. clear it out. Very good there, uh, Quentin Evans. Uh, he's played played tirelessly on the edge there all night. Uh, we just got to chop this up. You notice they've gone to a three back here. Mm -hmm. They're pushing some numbers forward, uh, which puts them in in uh, risk of a, more of a counterattack. Well, we'll take that. Goal kick. Yeah, take your time, Wesley. By the way, Wesley, uh, oh, corner kick. Looks like we uh, maybe nicked that. Oh, man. Wesley Ford, they were, weren't sure if he was going to play tonight. He had a, uh, had a, like a deep uh, thigh bruise uh, from last week. Um, and, and so good to see him in there. That Spencer Levy is our backup keeper, and uh, he, he's played well on the field. So when you mm -hmm. put Spencer, you know, you take Wesley out, you're a good, good, good keeper. Uh, you have to put Spencer back there, another uh, solid field player. Uh, so this is a plus plus for us that so Wesley's uh, in the goal tonight, uh, and he's played well. So we'll see here. They're pushing numbers forward. We got to get com we got to communicate and make sure we're marked up. Get Not good, ready. Wesley. All right, Whew. slow it down. So you'll see Wesley here take a little bit of time. Um, I uh, we always talk to goalies. You know, you have six seconds to punt it. Mm -hmm. But what he could do, he could play it. He could just lay it on the ground. And then he could kick it like a normal kick. But what happens is he wouldn't have to kick it until he got pressured. Right. So maybe he'd take another three or four seconds off. So uh, we'll see if Wesley does that tonight. But, uh, again, uh, a big boot. Here we go, Hudgens. We got to make sure that uh, nice there we go, Block pressured him. We got to stay on the uh, goal side of him. We got to be careful there. Powers is really battling there. Great effort. You know, that, uh, sometimes sure. being the defender is uh, a thankless job. Uh, be, but uh, they're playing well tonight, yeah, they aren't are. they? They're, they're playing well. And you know what? They've been playing well the last few weeks. We played Tip City pretty tough the other night. Uh, defense was under pressure quite a bit. You know, unfortunately, we lost that game, but it might have been good for our growth, uh, communicating, and really, really playing some defense. And we played hard that night, so uh, there was no give up in our players. And there's no there hasn't been tonight. We got down one to zero. We've uh, uh, scored three unanswered. three unanswered here. So we got some possession. Uh, if you notice, we're slowing the game down. We're not really attacking. We're going to play a little bit of possession here. Uh, hopefully, we can get a touch here. We don't want this to go out of bounds. Ah. Unlucky. Get up. Get up. We got to get up. Going here. All right, Colin, there we go. Colin Ball there. Good try. Oh, uh, we got to make sure you Nice save. Clear it, clear it. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, on air. Man, <laughs> you never want to see that. Uh, we got to communicate just a little bit better there. Uh, oh, a good little chip there from the outside back. Uh, played over Harrison. Get it clear. Good job. See if we can control the game now. We're going to slow this down, I would imagine. You notice uh, Jones not really running at him with pace. Mm -mm. Uh, just kind of seeing what's out there. There we go. Slow it down. Uh, oh, unlucky. Uh, we'll see if uh, this will run out of bounds. That'd be great if it did. Uh, good play by the outside back there. Good hustle by Heinrich. Oh, look at Heinrich. He's still going. He's, still going. He's got it. Is. Oh, uh, we just got under the four minute mark. We're still up three to one. Trying uh, to get a second goal? Yeah, trying to get a second goal. I mean, that would, you know, we got another goal here, four to one. That would uh, definitely be game. Obviously, three one. We don't need to score anymore. We just need to see the game out. Slow the game down. Chop it up a little bit for Sydney. Uh, we don't want them to get a run of play. And uh, let's see if uh, we can get. I just just uh, ran in there. Wesley just. Okay, Wesley bounces. Pounces on that. So, you know, Hudgens has been giving us some problems all night. Um, he had their goal. I mean, he's a strong player, but we've done well uh, to know where he's at. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's no fluke that he's at the top of the, the GWAC North and scoring. No. Um, you don't, that just doesn't happen by fluke. Here we go, Heinrich pressuring again. Look at his speed 
Uh, he's really battling there right now. Look at that battle. We got a corner kick out of that. And we're going to slow it down. We might even we might even play a short corner here. Yeah. And we just kind of we just shield the ball in the corner uh, and take some time off. So we'll see what happens. Uh, under three minutes. Under three minutes. Yeah, we would do that quite a bit. Uh, sometimes you get another corner out of it. Yeah. Uh, you really make the other team upset because they want the ball back, and you're like, no, you're not going to get it back. So kick we, we kicked it in. Again, we, we got to keep possession here. Nice and calm. Connect some passes. Slow it down. You know, the Sydney. Comstock with the a little yeah. shot there. Yeah. You know, you know so they're playing uh, pretty tired and. Of course, you know, 3-1, it's not looking good for them with just over two minutes to go. You got a runner here on the edge. You got to communicate that. Slow down here. Uh, let's see if we can slow it down. You know, sometimes you'll take it to the corner, dribble to the corner here and take some time away. Kind of see what we're uh, shooting. Uh, kind of shooting, trying to get yeah, it in these third, yeah, I which think I so. understand I why they're it. doing it. Sometimes you'll dribble though to the end line and yeah. take some more time, shield them off. Uh, and then you can still kick it out, or maybe we'll kick it out for you and you can take some more time off with a corner kick. Um, we'll see what happens here. We're forcing them backwards. Uh, we need to make sure we know where Hudgens is at right now. He looks like he's in the middle of the field unmarked, and I don't know if we want that per se. Uh, but uh, there we go. We're getting close uh, to him a little closer. All right, we got to get back here. We got to get marked up. Uh, we'll take that over. Wesley, take your time here. We got 90 seconds left. Um, and so sometimes on this as well, and I, like I said, sometimes it's kind of uh, w when I would be coaching, you know, obviously we we're, we're going to have powers take it. I'd even kick it out of bounds so they couldn't play it back to us uh, quickly. They'd have to do a throw and they'd have to get organized at this time. Obviously, I want to do that in the middle of the game. Uh, but when you're looking at uh, just over a minute to go, you don't want them to counter on you. No. So, I mean, this one seems pretty well in hand, though. I mean, with a minute to go right sure. now. Scoring two goals, it's not impossible, but it's... Yeah. We got a foul here, so what we're going to try to do is keep chopping the game up here. Um, but again, they, they've uh, they've only scored one goal here in uh, 79 minutes. Hopefully they don't get two in the next uh, 40 seconds. So, um, to be very bizarre. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, absolutely. So it's looking good for the Indians right now. Oh, look at that hand. Yeah, you see those hands? Yeah. Yeah, that was like... Yeah, Grab yeah, Ronda. Yeah, at least eight, nine yeah. balls here. He, he's played. He's played well. It's good to have him back. Good punt. Get it down the other end. Uh, here we go. We got Zian. Got a pressure from behind. Hopefully we're communicating that. Let's see if we can get a kind of what we would like as a clear. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, get it down the other end. Just a uh, uh, the foul. He's gonna get carded here. They're gonna probably. Eight, is he gonna get carded? Looked like he was going for it, but uh, he's gonna let it go. Yes. That's it. One. All right. And okay. has beaten the Sydney Oh, Dillon. yeah. Three to oh, one. Big game. That was a huge game for the Indians. Uh, it looks like uh, Colin Ball got a late card there at the end. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, those don't carry on. And obviously, you don't want to get cards, um, you know, because of the sportsmanship aspect. But... Hey, look at that, 3-1 victory for the Pickle Indians over the rivals. And by, rivals. by the way, I think this is the first time talking to Chip here. The first time we've won this in 17 years. Really? Yeah, so you think of a rivalry. We we uh, haven't won this, I think, in 17 years. So this is huge. Yes, this is uh, huge. A huge win uh, for the Indians. And this has, uh, you know, since... Some of these kids were not born yet. Uh, last time the Indians beat the Yellow Jackets in soccer, boys soccer. So, uh, and the other ones were in diapers. So this and is huge. Look at the Indians. Oh, here comes the Indians. Storm in the field. Storm in the field. They are excited as they should be. Yeah. With, uh, 17 years in the waiting for for this one. Uh, Kind of a scene of pandemonium and just excitement uh, and just really happy for the effort that the Indians uh, put forth. Again, they were down 1-0. to zero. And we weren't looking, with, looking no. uh, real good with uh, the energy levels. There's the sign, too, 17 years. Yeah, 17 years. Think about, you know, it, it kind of Robbie, Robbie Comstock had that great shot. The goalie had full extension in there. Heinrich with great energy yes. rebounding, putting that in, getting our energy going. And look at us. Uh, three goals later, we're on top at no. the end as the, the zeros are tripled up. So great win.
That was a great soccer contest. That's probably one of the, and you know, a lot of these, these Piqua players we saw at the very end, Robbie Comstock was on the ground overcome yeah. with emotion, emotion, which is, you know, obviously you, you have that happen to you. Um, you know, like you said, 17 years. 17 years is a very long time. Yeah. I know if one of my favorite teams didn't win in 17 years and they finally did, I would probably be the same way. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was, you know, great job tonight by the Indians, I think. That that was exciting. Let me tell you, and you know what, AJ, I appreciate the opportunity oh, to, yeah, man. to call this game. And what what better way to do it than to, uh, to uh, you know, 17 years in the making, right? Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, it looks like I might be stuck uh, up here with you. You're going to be stuck uh, with me for the next three uh, games. I think so. <laughs> so, maybe uh, we make a playoff run here. So, uh, great energy, gr- energy yeah. great effort uh, by those big Indians. Uh, Coach Duncan really had the, the players ready to go. Yes, he we did. We rebounded again from that, that first goal we got behind, but uh, that never – never quit attitude mm. uh, serve, served us well tonight. Yeah. Well, guys, again, the final score here tonight is Bickwood 3, Sydney 1. We'd like to thank our sponsors one more time. It's Gonzo Radio, America's best choice windows and more, Miami Valley Steel, East of Chicago Pizza, Morris Heating and Cooling Comfort Systems, Mulligan's Pub, Dick Lumpkin's Body Shop, Bickwa Harley-Davidson, Unity National Bank, Miami Valley Center Mall, Go and Postal, SC Collectibles in the Mall, Beppo Uno, Brown Way Realty. The Pickwa Indians again picking up the victory in another notch in the All Sports Trophy, I believe, tying things up at 3 3 apiece. Pickwa improved on the year to 6 3 and 1 and 5 and 2 in the G Walk, while Sydney falls to 6 and 6 and uh, 5 and 3 in the G Walk after tonight's game. Again, the final score Pickwa 3, Sydney 1. For John Shostroff, I'm AJ Ganger saying good night, ladies and gentlemen, from Word Stadium. I'm AJ Ganger here with Robbie Comstock. Rob, how does it feel to beat Sydney for the first time in 17 years last night? Dude, it feels great. Um, I've been working my whole entire life for this, and it was just a very emotional moment. And it's it all took us and what we did to the game, and we all worked our hardest, and it was awesome. And you guys had the student section storm the field after the game. What was that like for you guys? I mean, to have a huge student section right there out there at Words. It pumped us all up, and I think it was a very big. Uh, it increased our the way we played, and it was it was a very good a way to get that W, and then it was really it was cool. Thanks, Rob. This is AJ Ganger here with Gavin. Gavin, how does it feel to beat Sydney last night for the first time in 17 years? Feels pretty good. I mean, I couldn't have done it without the fans. Uh, the student section was great. Nothing else I could say, but love for all of Piqua. How does it? How do you feel knowing that this game was recorded by the Indian Nation station and will be available forever on YouTube and on the on through the station? I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you, Gavin. Now this is AJ Ganger here with Spencer. Spencer, how do you feel about beating Sydney for the first time in 17 years? You know, we haven't beat Sydney since I was born, so <laughs> it's a great feeling to defeat the Yellow Jackets. You know, last night you guys had a rocking student section. They stormed the field after the game. How do, how do you feel about, you know, the students coming out and supporting you guys? You know, I love the students here at Pickle High School. They treat us like family, and we return the favor on Friday nights to football games. So, I mean, I love my PHS students, and it was a great win. Thank you very much, Spencer.